Hi guys, my name is Eric Poloni. Today I'm doing this video for my uh, Snorn Desert Institute Machining and Manufacturing of Firearms class. Um, for this time, I'm going to talk about some build materials of a specific weapon. Um, I chose the Inner Ordnance AK here, AK-47 Knockoff, AKM Knockoff. Um, so, first off, I'm going to get some simple stuff. Firearm is clear. There's that. Um, the barrel is 4140 steel uh, with a nitride finish. For 4140 steel, it's not going to be it's, the barrel's not going to be as strong or hold up as long for high round counts as like a 4150 barrel. But for you know your, your typical consumer budget build rifle, it's going to do just fine. Um, the receiver it's just stamped steel, heat treated, uh, um, parkerized finish, typical of your modern. AKM, AKM clone. Um, you just, where you start getting into issues with the inner ornaments AKs, when you start talking about the trunnions, the bolt, uh, front sight block, that kind of stuff. So the manufacturer claims that the uh, the trunnions and all the, the big parts here are 4140 steel. The problem is that they are cast steel. So cast steel, um, you just melt down the steel, you pour it into a cast, then you machine your specific shape out of that cast. Um, the cast already gets most of the, sh the shape for you. The problem with that is your the, the grains in the metal, they're a little bit more porous, a bit, uh, bigger grains, they're not in line. Um, it doesn't make for a very strong piece of steel. Um, uh, the issue with that, so it's a lot It's a lot softer. You get, so I'll, I'll put up some pictures here, you'll, you'll kind of see, but in the long run, once you start getting into that high numbers of the round count, you'll see starts either start to mushroom out or just simply snap and break. Um, I'll throw in some pictures. Like I said, I've got my hammer starting to mushroom out. Some parts on the bolt, bolt carrier starting to mushroom out. Um, it's just a softer steel. It's not going to hold up. Um, if you Google cast trunnions on, online, you'll see all kinds of catastrophic malfunctions with them. It's just not a good way to build an AK, but they do it because it's cheaper. Um, getting some other materials here. So, my ratchet charging system. So, kind of neat. Gives me like an HK style charging handle. I can do the HK slap, all that. Um, that's just a mix of aluminum and steel. I got the Texas Dogleg rail system here. Just aluminum rail system. A skeleton stock. Uh, it's a uh, aluminum stock with a rubber end cap there, and then some magpul polymer furniture. All well, pretty straightforward and standard. Um, for the most part, I am not happy with buying this rifle. Um, it hasn't given me many major issues yet, but we'll see. We'll see when it blows in my face. <laughs> but that's about it. Thanks for watching.